Welcome to Trailing Edge, Ideas Whose Time Has Come and Gone. Today we're going to talk about a great film of 2012, Dark Shadows. Now this is a Tim Burton theme, which is when you're really messed up, your wig is askew. And Michelle Pfeiffer's wig is sort of this giant lampshade-like affair because this whole story is supposed to be taking place in 1972, a sort of notoriously bad hair era. It all ends in catastrophic crashing of chandeliers and a disco ball that tries to kill one of the young children, which is, of course, wonderful in and of itself. Well, in any case, I highly recommend Dark Shadows. It's really, it's trailing edge in hundreds of ways, and if you pair it with Mars Attacks, you've really seen it all. Nothing is more out than UFOs. I mean, mention UFOs at a party and people just fan out from you, rolling their eyes. What does this say? Hi, we just want to say hi. We're a lot like you. We like to have a drink now and then. We like to smoke. In fact, we favor martinis. We wear high-waisted clothes. And we have houses like you. Well, it's holiday time, so let's think of gifts. Why is this so cool? Well, it's green. What is it, you're saying? What's it good for? Here we go. I know what you're thinking. Would this have been as popular if it had not been green. Today, I want to tackle the yoga bubble. Perhaps it'd be more accurate to say the yoga clothing bubble. Everybody who can do yoga is doing it or has done it. Everybody who can't do yoga is wearing the clothes. Where is this trend all going? What about yoga doctor? How about you go to a wedding and the bride, she's a yoga bride. And then of course there's Vlad, the yoga impaler. Is he going around slashing people, meanwhile searching for spiritual enlightenment? Hillary Clinton for 2016. What an idea. Now, you know, I got this doll from the White House Project where we were supposed to, in 2000, we were supposed to elect a female president then, then in 2004, then in 2008. Well, it didn't happen. I mean, there's the doll. You know, she kind of looks like Hillary, don't you think? <laughs> a little bit. You know, the thing about trailing edge stuff, it, Trailing Edge has a lot. <laughs> oh, she lost the election. Okay. Well, the closest habitable planet is... Okay. So, the closest habitable planet is 13 light years away. No, it's not 13 light years. It's 13 million light years. It's 13... Okay. How about we say it all together... In the meantime, stay behind the curve.